it is time for us to discuss something totally different. We're talking about technology in education. How far are we as a people here in Ghana and how serious are we taking this? We have in studio one man that I respect, Sada Ador, uh, who's done so well for himself. He's the founder and CEO of eCampus LLC and also a father and an advocate for access to internet as a basic human right. Senna is in the building. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's a great man shake like this. Hey, yeah. Let me let me like that. Yeah. Yeah. That be that can you know yeah, it'd be private man. jet level. <laughs> <laughs> private jet yeah. level. Yeah. Uh, good to see you. Oh, yeah, good to see you again. Yeah. yeah. Last time I was here it was a couple of years, right? Like two yeah, years almost ago. almost one year yeah. into that. Yeah. Yeah. Time flies, okay. And you, you haven't changed, you, you yeah. maintain your hairstyle. Oh, yeah. see right now, anything goes. Mm. Anything goes. Yeah. So, no. all right. All right, so, now, so let's get into it. Why is it so important um, to merge education with different, say, internet, you know, in these very times? Technology oh, with okay. education in this, in this, in this times. Um, anyway, good morning, right, to good your morning. listeners and, yeah. Um, I remember the last time I was here, I tried to make technology very simple. Yeah. It's not always about your cell phones or anything that uses electricity. Mm -hmm. The last time I told you, we are putting you on air technology. Mm -hmm. So whatever tools you need to help people learn more effectively, okay. it's a technology. So, so if you're teaching people how to make recipes that would end up becoming a world class like the KFC recipe. What tools do they need? Whatever tools they need, that's the technology. You see, we have to be careful how we make people feel like, because the way they hear technology, there has to be something that has to be plugged to electricity. No, no, no. You see, it's not all technologies that use electricity. <coughs> so let's be very careful. So before technology can play a more effective role, right, I've been telling people there are five questions we need to answer as a people. And we need to answer these questions as frequently as possible. Okay. The first question is why? Why education even? Why? Because what, 30, 40, 60 years ago, Ghana is 66, so let's say even what, 100 years ago, the why for education is not the same as the why for education now. The why for the why. education. Why are you educating people? It's why? not the same as yeah. the why now. As a son. As a son. 50, 60, 100 years ago, the why was to get a job and a paycheck. Mm -hmm. So we have very streamlined people, nurses, doctors, uh, lawyers, mm -hmm. you know, engineers. like very streamlined. So if you can't fall in within any of them, you don't have anything, right? Okay. Today we have social media managers who make more than doctors. Mm -hmm. So the why of education has changed. Sometimes I don't even know what I am. I'm an entrepreneur. What does that even mean? But I'm okay. I'm able to put food on the table. It wasn't defined that way 50 years ago. But it's still education. So what it means is every, every two, three years or every 10 years, reasonably, let's ask again, why are we educating the population? Why? To become what? To achieve what? So for me, my, my kids, I'm educating them because their life depends on it. Not because I want them to become some doctor, some footballer, no. You just, you just manage to survive. If they can survive by age 30, they'll figure it out. So they should have manners, they should know how to speak, they should be confident, they should be able to what, stand on their feet and say, this is what I want and go for it. That's why I'm educating my children, because their life depends on it. And if that's the case, then what should I educate them on? Because mm -hmm. then I know the why. The why is their life depend on it. So what should I educate them on? Life skills. I mean, me and you are complicated. I'm an engineer, pilot. He should know how to keep his hygiene first before okay. he can even become a pilot. He should know how to manage sleep patterns. Mm. How dehydration, what dehydration means to his body. Water. What can, food can he eat? And what times they should eat? Life skills. The maintenance of the body. If they know life skills, mm. ah, oh, but they'll figure it out. Most of us did science in school today we are doing business mm -hmm. so it doesn't really matter if you get the basic life skills you can read you know your basic numeracy 
you can think critically. There's a problem. You can ask yourself questions and go around it. You are fine. The rest is more exposure. So now I know what to educate them on, which is life skills, right? Is it, is it one of the basic lapses you see in our education system? So Ghana, Ghana's education is one of the greatest in terms of structure, in terms of okay. uh, policies, in terms of uh, uh, personnel, the whole process. You know, we pay attention to creating the structures. Okay. The challenge is it's not fluid. It doesn't flow. Okay, mm -hmm. so you have you have a very great you have great teachers, mm -hmm. all right? You have great schools that have historical, you know, like you know, like how do you call it, glory, right? They've produced one of the best great people, right? But the fact that they produce they produce one of the greatest people 30, 40 years ago means that that same system and thinking will create great people now. What we mm. call great people 40 years ago are no more great people now. Now, great people are those who can what? Manage artificial intelligence. 30, 40 years ago, great people are people who can memorize 50 pages of a book. So we need to be careful with these uh, category A schools, category B, category C, category D. Mm. What made the category A schools that name is that they could memorize what? A 100 page book. Shark brain. That was, mm. that was like educated, like that was an ish then. And I'm like, who does that? Like, why? That's not the best use of the brain. Okay. So greatness, that's why I said, why? If we had asked ourselves as a country, why we're educating our people every 10 years? Some, some things will not even be celebrating them. So the why being what? Their life depend on it. Then what to teach them is life skills and how. Now I know what to teach them. How do I teach them? It has to be 360 degree. And that includes what? Applied learning and then the normal what? Grammar. So if the why for my son is to make him survive, so I'm teaching him basic life skills, 360 degree. If his desire is to become a footballer, right? He needs to even understand psychology. Okay. Because when he gets when he gets to the pitch, people can use psychology to what? Defeat you on the pitch. Okay. He needs to understand physics because there's gravity. So if you jump a certain kind of jump, you're not gonna land well. Mm. All right? He needs to understand nutrition. Because if you don't eat if you eat certain kind of food, you can't run certain distance before you get tired. Just football out. See the things he has to learn. He needs to learn math. So that at the point, there's a way you pass the ball to get certain results, mm -hmm. right? He yeah. needs to learn, learn biology because he will definitely break a few bones. So he mm -hmm. needs to understand his anatomy. Mm -hmm. Do you get where I'm coming from? So just football, look at the things a child needs to learn. He needs to learn what? Finance. Because he needs to negotiate his contracts. Okay. And be sure that he's paid well by the time he pays taxes and take away a few things, investment. He has something to live on. He needs to understand audits. Mm -hmm. He needs to understand regulate. He needs to understand a lot of things just because he wants to play football. So if you don't do this to the degree, you're not helping the child. Football might be, I use that because it's a very common example, but you can take anything. Why? Right? Your child wants to be a chef, right? The same thing. They play with fire. <laughs> fire is what? Science, chemistry. There are chemicals that need to cause it. And they are working with chemicals, right? For cooking, there's oil, there's that. What and what makes can cause more fire. So you're careful, right? Mm -hmm. So we need to look at education from a point of view that every day you apply one or two or three things around several disciplines unknowingly. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have an idea of those disciplines in a 360-degree way, you realize that in certain parts of your life you're struggling, or when the the pyramid or the the how do you call it the the or if situations changes all of a sudden, then they say, oh, this guy now he was doing well, though, but when this thing happened, no, everything just disappeared. <clears throat> it's because they were one-sided trained, right? They were very trained one-sided. So when the tables turn. And those things are no more 
what yeah, is trending. Be lacking. Then you become. Yeah. Because yeah. I remember growing up, driving <coughs> was a profession. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, people went like going to driving school to become drivers. It was a job. You wake up in the morning and go and drive. Imagine explaining that to my five year olds and that driving was a job that people grew up and aspired to become. You'd be like, Are you kidding me? Everybody can drive. So if that's all you knew, and now everybody can drive. So 360 degree, right? It's same driving, he could drive a pickup, he could still drive a forklift. He could still drive an excavator. So when everybody could drive a normal car and pick up, which I can do, I know I have no idea how to drive a forklift. I have no idea how to mm. drive an excavator. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Right? And I have no idea to even drive a crane. Mm -hmm. It's still driving. But how did you 360 degree the driving for your son? Mm. He kept in one lane. So when everybody could do what he could do, he became redundant. Wow. So that's education from the way I think we should be looking at it. Wow. That's good. You have explained yeah. education, you have explained technology in the simplest form for yeah. me. Um, and Prembe Breno, um, you're right. You cut technology. Everybody's mind is going to the internet. Everybody's mind is going to something you can plug into, you know, socket or whatever to get electricity. I saw it now. Oh, that's technology. Ain't you no know, phone, no technology, then technology. But you're making us understand, say, there are tools. The tools. You need for the next step in your life. Ain't you know, uh, evolving from one place to another is another form of technology. Mm -hmm. So when you need, what develop it? What do I say? First, I'm to say, say, see, I'm to say, a DNA, Timmy Mamu free, say, eco PSA. That's what you're saying. Yeah. Uh huh, ain't you know. And uh, first, I'm going to say, but see, see, I need your mercy, and also, so ye, a ye crash and canino. In see, a diena, ye, 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 in see, nia, ye, 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 no, that's the tools that we're using. Now, my question is who is responsible? Who are the stakeholders that are going to make sure that these tools are, you know, embedded or then they are introduced into our education? Because, um, as lucky as some of us were, and some of us were not, uh, Mimi goes guno. There was not computers. The no, nah, there was not computers. Um, near what library, mm -hmm. where you can go and read about so many things, but you're not really getting the practical <laughs> of of the thing, the practical mm -hmm. side of things. And probably I might have. I mean, Kaipo, maybe I might have chanced on 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 on, on a computer, one mm -hmm. computer, like you know, sitting down in the library. Me call secondary school, no, nah. I think that so we had a almost very big computer lab. We hardly went into that computer lab. I think one time I got punished because we could share a movie. <laughs> well, well, you know, myself <laughs> and Dillis. So, so you know, we didn't know the, the, the great uses of, the of, of, of the tools. And even then, Kranen, we didn't have the tools we have now. Of course. Some people are not privy. I, for one thing, that Adia Biano said, you know, they keep certain things just like who came here to talk about, and I think a friend on a Arabia said we to turn up there before for crew for for so no, no, see, I want to pee or say, okay, what pack a car just pee. I can't say, won't pee because on him say, no, I'm, I'm going to get arrested. Sign you at the tunnel, so to me, no, so quiet. That is tenant. You are the not the better anymore. Technology, the tools we are talking about. Who is responsible? How do we introduce that into our education? Okay, so there, there, there are a lot of stakeholders here. Okay, I think ultimately the most important stakeholder, or the one that gets the heat the most, are parents. Believe you me. Look, teachers are overwhelmed. Okay, they are overstretched, and the budget is crazy to be a teacher. You should just spend some time, maybe take your cameras, <coughs> and just go see, do the day in the life, you know, that, that kind of production, a day in the life. <laughs> Try it in, mm -hmm. in, in the so-called category A schools, category B, do a day in the life of teachers. And you, when you see them, you, you, you respect them. They are overwhelmed because psychologically i don't know what went wrong with us we all expect the teacher to to fix our children for us like <laughs> mm -hmm. 
he bears the name the teacher is the one teaching the so child. That's, so, yeah. that's one of our biggest problems. Mm -hmm. Expecting that the teacher will do everything. No. The number one stakeholder is the parent. Okay. Because if you want to pretend you are not, let me show you why you are. All right? You are the first person the child sees in the morning. And you are the last person the child sees before they go to bed. Mm -hmm. Except those in the boarding school. Fine. But before they go to boarding, mm -hmm. right? So if you introduce them to tools at home, that will help their education. If they go to school for that eight hours, which up to now, the schools don't allow you to bring smart devices to school. Mm. I still don't understand why, but the last time I checked, if they say yes, then there'll be pressure on government to buy for everybody. And I don't think I may have that kind of money. So it's like the father who says nobody's going to eat chicken for one month because he realized he can't afford chicken. So, uh, so that, that's another topic for another day. So at home, how, if you understand the why, the how, and what you want to, your, your kids to become, you begin getting those tools at home for them, okay, all right? And then, like I said, with the driver experiment, or example, if you get them a pickup and a saloon, get them a forklift as well, get them an excavator as well, get them a crane, it's all driving. Mm -hmm. Okay. Get them those tools at home, right? It doesn't have to be very sophisticated, but let them have a feel of it, how it works, how it operates. I know there are people who are not too happy about the amount of screen time that our kids are getting these days because mm -hmm. they're always by a tablet or by the TV and all of that. So there needs to be a balance where some of the tools, like I keep saying, it's not all technology that is screen screen. It has to be things they can play with. Mm. So for me, I feel the, the, the most important stakeholder are the, the parents parent. is the home. It must start from the home. Trust me, if 80% of the student population of any school say, if you don't provide this, we are boycotting, the school will find it. Technology, if not controlled, could be dangerous. Or let me say, um, the tools you're talking about, even that, if not controlled, it could be dangerous. Uh, we've had um, experts sit here every now and then and try to teach parents how to you know manage that side because uh sebio if you are evolving and then here can't nyama be brain about you know things you have to throw away and get new things nini na ye part of the evolving no na o to that an actually o kwa ko pefo fro no wo ni be bia be pefo fro no wo ni be bia be papa wo mo basically o problem Technologies be brilliant, I be. Me funny say, let me talk about the normal phone that everybody's yeah, talking the phone, about, yeah. the tablets the that tablets everybody's talking stuff. about. Parents be all no more. We need him how to. Me me say, a bear case me to me di a year to so. See a di a year to so. Password. parent control, uh, uh, guide. uh, uh, guidance PG and yeah. all. You can put it on stuff. It took a while for me to even know that. You know, say would a better tablet so and now we so that it doesn't get the child to go elsewhere. I say that when a child knows how to operate these things, a good child will hack it. I mm -hmm. know a child like that. Mm -hmm. They will hack it and they will find means and ways to because the more you spend time on something, the more you get to know a lot of things about it. And, you know, the measures maybe and also your parts, but we are They are getting to know about it. Don't even because we are saying now Bia has gone bad. So here. How do we control okay. the use of these tools? So um, we have a generation where they are mobile first. When they say the mobile first generation, they were born when mobile phones were everywhere, where smart devices were everywhere. That's what they were used to. When, we, when I was born, phones were not everywhere, even Yam, Nebinio, Landline and Newo. So these are mobile first generation. You cannot deprive them from what they are. That's a privilege they have. That they were born in the generation where human civilization has got to a point where we can create things that makes our life easier. We're you, so lucky to be found here. Yeah, you are popping in phone for house. Uh -huh. The land life for house, you use them. It was in a, it was in a wooden box. Try, and, try and touch it and see. You, you, you use them. <laughs> then lock them. Yeah, then lock them. So you, you know, don't use them. You 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 receive calls, you don't make calls. Yeah. Exactly. You, just you have to go to a place to make a call or mm -hmm. receive a call. So 
We cannot take that away. Doing that for me is a human right abuse. Like, come on, man. The fact that you were not born in this generation, you want me to be like you? So that's a no-no. Allow them to explore. Because they are the ones that can improve on it. So I keep telling people, fun, no. Wait. That's not the problem. When I put it off, it's useless. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's sure. useless. When it comes on, what is on it? Content. See, I didn't know for the son, and Nuna and ye and a be full on Gazadi on Yari. It's one of the so. How do we control that? Okay. The content. So, if we decide as a people, all right, to control what content is available on our devices, thank you. That drives us to what kind of apps you download on that tablet for the child, okay. Mm -hmm. So for my kids, you have a dictionary, you have a calculator, of course you have eCampus, like that's our app, right? And then you have games, like piano games, things that I will not show you what I don't want you to see. One, the parent yeah. is responsible for, for the tools. Managing the yeah, tools. for managing the tools. Yeah. I get that too. Um, uh, well, the teacher also fine. Um, we will fear why any year, Alex, it's me and putting measures, you know, and the say, you know, on my tablet, this is what you can find under this parental guidance, this control, or blah 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 blah. Or because school na the fifth will be all hormonal, no, 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 bass out of control. Oh, yes, yeah, uh huh, or any of it. Oh, yes, yeah, and you know, children are curious, ain't you know, say, maybe the any so who the end was so definitely who feels so child is safe. But of course, school or back or be tablet or so, and now so back or show be tablet. So they have friends, they communicate, they 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 mingle and everything. Now, oh, yeah, wait, they be an oko school, yeah, but quite an a tablet to share the bag will be used with you, but to be drew school, no, or you so of a fro a tablet, and those are the contents are oh, so one, the parents are in the work, two. Must the teacher also check because say any now more afraid to me add a tablet to go school and our phones and everything. Sabio, um, to know some of the measures that they put in place for us. No, I thought that it was not too bad. Am I young and so so to me and him how to evolve, you know, and get to the stage where we a bit to me at the eye makakra because, um. Me, 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 when we're in school, no, I pay phone, yeah, I gonna telecom phone, yeah, see, we. You know, it's just one. You have a card. If you don't have units or whatever they call on it, you can't make a call. Now, you allow the kids to take the phones to school. A high credit, they can balance it small because when it's time for lectures, you don't use your phone. You're cramping in for when we go to university. It is very difficult for us to stay off our phones during lectures. Yeah. Alex, oh, sorry, I was the first thing you take. Your phone. You understand? Your phone. So about a part of a, a part of us. From the time our phones are the ones that's beeping the alarm for us to wake up, you know, and all of that. It's no more the cock and cool, cool, and all sorry, everything is like that. So then from the parent, the teacher, who else? How okay. do we control this? So the phone has become an extension of us. Yes. Okay. So we need to be aware of how do I want to treat myself. Okay. See, it's be, you can control people, try to put measures, but ultimately, the person's own psyche is very important. The example we gave was how flexible are you with your children that I mean, they tell me everything because I've made it that way. And then you fault. Otherwise, then you are killing the curiosity and exploration that's in the child. Talk about, oh, uh, oh uh, what happened in school today, Velia? You tell me everything. And then I went to run, and then I fell here, and then this person was eating, and I went to take some and he beats me. He even poured the tea on details. And teacher said this, and so now me take background. Me feel not be be am far. But there are two meetings. Oh, but this one, are you sure? By the second time, my cohort, mm, Rose. Do you understand? But mm -hmm. right? you have protected the, you've put whatever measures on the smart device that you've given to them. But when they go out there to play, see humans, we are social animals. You can't lock them in the room and put them in front of screens forever. They need to go out there and mingle. And if they go out there, they will pick habits. Some will be bad, 
some will be good. But what environment have you created at home mm. for them to freely come and tell you everything? That is great. Now let's talk about the e-campus, the app. Yeah. What do we find on that app, Ayinim? Uh, parents want to know, what can I even put on these devices, these tools for sure. my kids to be able to, you know, learn something, to get interested in getting to know those things. I have seen children that would watch nothing but whatever you've put on their stuff. They are very interested, yeah. very, <laughs> they like it, they love it, and that's what. So what is on eCampus? So eCampus, the way I hear eCampus now, your friend say, yeah, those days now, you were home teachers, like, mm -hmm. uh, Teacher for one friend in Galam say, and mm -hmm. I yeah yeah friend uh, extra teacher. classes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when so oh, the teacher be be fee no a be chira kola na be. No ye na na ye ye pa no e chia nika. And the e campus to say that teacher na a be fee be chira oba na de, but a wa phone na so, a wa tablet so, a wa laptop so. Okay. And as that teacher na a be chira oba na de, na wa wa teacher ba kubet mi a chemi be a math any physics, mm -hmm. but onun kwa onu mi chia biology, onu mi chia English, onu mi chia di akeni na. But e campus your teacher now to meet you in a oh okay. I'm a colano, and a teacher no so I would be best in it. Also, check a chalk on idea one week time. No, I'm just saying, but no, we are question. Oh, yeah, dear, oh, yeah, be ye, crack, crack, be ye. It doesn't mean anything. But e campus back at you, oh, one week here, yeah, 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 maths. They say vectors no, or a 24 percent improvement, uh, simultaneous equation, 15 percent improvement, uh, statistics. 2% improvement. Okay, so they have works, they keep yeah, it's so practical. Keep, yeah, so they have works. It breaks mm -hmm. it down for you like mm -hmm. that, right? Uh, and see, so, who person wa as a parent, who te urban performance as it. On the only the report card every school bar, on the say uh, class work 30%, mm -hmm. and an uh, exam. 40% mm -hmm. in the total, mm -hmm. 70, 70. Yeah. they are very good. Uh, but uh, no, what did they just say? Like, it means nothing. So but, much true as you say, it needs to improve in this area. Uh, here and there, but yeah. e-campus report mm -hmm. card now, ube nyano. I will buy use e-campus for just one week, ube nyano. So I say mathematics now. Classwork now, we can say 30% now, we can say class is 30%, now 5% is hey, uh, it's breaking it down. Yeah, yeah, probability topic, mm -hmm. you know, and on your five percent. Oh, okay. Uh, statistics, you no, know, on your fifteen percent, and a set on your two percent, and a uh, what? If I'm saying which other one? Some of them on your say, and the boy no, yes, at thirty percent. Oh, okay. And to say, oh, when our person wants to, oh, me buy no mass, and yes, oh, no mass, oh, statistics, na ne hano. Oh, probability, the oh, what crowd is solid. So say, oh, to me, cast and far oh, bang. Because we buy the mass on yardy, mass then he found on yardy. Which area? Okay. Topic by only. Okay. And the teacher now walk off our best year crown bet. No, no, no. Teacher no poor sir. Oh, who urban ni farabai like topic. He found na on yardy. He found on yardy that that. So no sir. Oh, boy, kola na no a boy ne free. But the oye week. And you say about the whole thing again. And no sir, my dear, what you are a buffer because they only say five topics. Spend our buffer from me by that room for just two months. I don't know why. Then send the partner by his own. But check me by the mass. Oh, and see, as he can pose here, we intelligent too. Eh, I deserve a dashboard for what color addition. Okay. Too far to me, so can we buy English? Or you're forty percent ready for the exam. Forty percent or call job easy and I say here. Forty percent a bad D honum. Did you mean pay mammy ban? So the your man in Kobe another one month. Or do seventy five percent ready. I need to say and your six of the five is A. Okay. Now, now, now that's lovely. You know, see, I'm here. Cut up our bit to me. I am. I add the Uber to so. I be buy Uber. Tablet, tablet. Now we need me. I would be to so no. And I say, oh sorry, I would. What call I? So, baby shark, baby shark, na I'm going to talk to you. So, what about you? 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 But, it do, baby, now, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, some sort of education. You know, maybe you'll be to me, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, that would get that child engaging. Bibia, yade. A bibia, you know, bibia is fun. When you, you, you can understand it properly and you get to do it and practice it every now and then. In you know, you know, you know, you know, yeah, pa, you've been on the web. Alex, if you want to be me, I've had. Oh, Android, mm -hmm. iOS, 
uh, <laughs> if it's a normal laptop, mm -hmm. normal, normal laptop. tablet. Till you answer, we call we call store. We call e dot com. Okay, we say store. We put it be 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 call na unkai logo ne adi ninti ne unu say we and we call e campus dot camp dot c a m p camp a camp. Because the meaning of camp in the dictionary is what a group of people with a specific focus to succeed. Right, right, okay. right. So, right, right. Campus, so I focus on the person who passes B.C., person who passes me nursing licensure, mm -hmm. person who passes me midwifery, person who passes me law school. Focus. And you have a group of people who are almost the same agenda. Nice. Uh, it's in nice. The campus. Uh, um, your handle on social media, Hans, and I'm a kind of person who uh, 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 At eCampus LLC. I said the actual uh, no, now the LLC at e account at eCampus uh, at eCampus LLC, LLC across all social media at eCampus LLC. LLC. Please correct that for me yeah. at eCampus LLC. LLC. Yeah. And you know, social media, I'll be to me in Yano Honom. It is very, very good. Um, we you it's, it's, it's better, it's really better. Hey, yeah, 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 Coco goes goosey, even in, in uni, no. You want to get a friend who a friend of TA because you get to cry, you find a friend who is. Very versed in one of the the, the courses, you know. Well, I bet now maybe wow. in your free time and teach all of you. Oh, yeah, say no, no. You have to move here, move there, move there. What is it to get an app on your phone where you can just log in, whatever it is you put together, and then you are being taught, and then you practice till you get perfect, or then you can get your hands on it. In you know, at ecampus um, dot llc. Is the social media handle now up on so the and I catch you know a yeah yeah e campus dot camp c a m p dot camp okay so don't don't deprive the kids of uh, of these tools control it and make sure that you are putting on very good content for them to use that is basically and I made your phone the video me and Thomas M Mofra S M Mofra was a we uh oh Nimshe no was a we all right, so um, yes, it's one. Uh, so, so, thank you so much for passing through. Thank you. And educating thank us you. about e campus. Let me share with you. All right.